Welcome to Hardcore Worldwide, Volume 1. Get ready for a hardcore trip around the world. Prepare yourself. On this video you will see some of the hardest DJs the world has to offer. Montreal. Smash up, Montreal June 3rd, 2003. Terrorist Chris and LCEDP put on a terror show, destroying TVs while playing noise and speed tour. Yes, it's as good as it sounds. <laughs> with a few of the most influential people in the Berlin hardcore scene, including top producer DJ Heavy, hardcore video artist Mario Becker, and Banker Tom, the leader of the movement to save the Banker, a very hardcore club, located in an old world war to Banker. <laughs> Hardcore in Berlin. Um, I don't know. Some it's a little bit um, like an island. Everybody's making um, some kind of Holland gabber, you know. <laughs> but the Berlin style is um, breaking against it. Nur noch ab und zu in Tresor Partys. Tresor war früher immer als Schwulen oder Stricherclub verrufen. Unter uns Bunkerleuten. Deshalb lachen ja. einige über den Tresor, aber einige nutzen den, den Platz des Tresors, weil wir keine andere Möglichkeit haben, Party zu feiern. Some people are um, playing really fast stuff, really speedcore stuff. And some people playing more the French style. And yeah, that's the influences of all makes the Berlin stuff. Berlin, we make private parties, that's the best, so yeah. I think. We don't need the commercial clubs. My style? I can't describe my style. <laughs> I search for it. Yeah, every time that I make music, I search for my style.
Yeah, I hope so that um, the turntablism um, will have more influence. We can do everything with our turntables and to, to do a lot of scratch stuff and yeah, everything that's going on that comes from the hip hop community and uh, yeah, we hope that it will influence the cover so that more people will um, hear it, listen to it and more people will live the live of cover. Every control had a sound based music, one of, if not the most influential hardcore distributors in the world. He is responsible for the production and success of many hardcore and speedcore labels since the beginning of hardcore. Now at the basement, the ba 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 basement, uh, where everything happens. My name is Stefan. I run a company called Sound Base Music here in Germany, in Leipzig, East Germany. Yeah, business is good. Doing many things at the moment. Um, doing distribution for quite some labels. Uh, doing doing mail order things and all that. Yeah, it's a lot of work at the moment. Yeah, we got a pretty good scene here now, like compared to what it was four or five years ago, it's pretty good now. Got some more parties here with um, around about 200, 300 people. Uh, yeah, basically real hardcore parties, no no Dutch cover style. Um, yeah, I don't know for, for other cities, don't, don't know that much about West Germany. They are they're doing more like gabber and hard house things and, and the so-called hard style. Uh, don't know about Berlin so much. I think Berlin's going down a bit as well. Hellraiser, born to die October 11th, 2003. DJ Akira was there to represent Holland, playing from French core to speed core. Germany and Holland are the top hardcore countries in the world. The music is mostly the same, but the dressing code is always a little bit different. And they dance a little bit different than the Dutch people who think it looks very strange. However, Germans can stand the speed core BPM a little longer than the average Dutch. DJ Bonehead.
Speaker? Yeah, that kicks ass. Yeah, listen to Mesha. Go to www.mesherecords.com. We're gonna <laughs> show you what the speaker is. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, greetings to Canada. <laughs> Too hard for you. June 28, 2003. Attracts Geneva. And GBA syndicate combined forces to create one of the greatest hardcore parties of 2003. The Bill Factory was home to this major event featuring headliners from all over the world as well as plenty of the best local Swiss talent.
and bad. DJ Brute Force plays extreme current rate or as he likes underground music and supports underground DJs and newcomers. The largest event in this area is Hell or Heaven in Salzburg, Austria, which takes place twice a year in a cave. The styles vary from electronic to hardcore to gabber to extreme core to blade core. Last year he made two radio transmissions on fm4.org.at and is also the owner of gabber.at which features underground hardcore techno merchandising. If you have drunk some beer and the music plays so you make a special movement. Schumkeln. 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 South Germany you mean. <laughs> yeah, we have one. But the most, the most important thing is that we have Hello Heaven. Yeah, yeah. This is the most important thing here. Yeah. That's the biggest? In Austria? No. It is not. The, the, bigger, the bigger scene is in Vienna. Yeah. But we have our underground. Yeah. We emphasize the underground and not the mainstream. So we have acts like Widerstand, Alterherd, you know. We have acts like uh, Trauma XP. So we, as, we, as I said, we put the emphasis on the underground and not on the mainstream. It is getting, <coughs> it is getting smaller the scene in Austria, but it is getting much better. Not quantity, but quality. I, I think we should support the Austrian scene. It is very good, it is small, but it is very good. I think the, the underground is bigger than we expect. And the future will show that we will have success with our partners. Cheers. 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 This beat core room was closed down, so all the hardcore was focused into one massive room. Four of the top hardcore headliners from around the world, playing to a crazy audience of hardcore Italians. Oh, ci avete rotto il cazzo, la devi mollare sta ragazza, non ti vuole, lo vuoi capire, e adesso beccati questa speedcore. È proprio questo ciò che volevamo, Cerebral Destruction, e adesso continuiamo pure.
from taking the drug in ecstasy. ecstasy. DJ Plague! Canadian Speed Corps resistance! You goddamn britches. Drop your goddamn britches. Liquor. Chilling with my bitches from uh, CSR and Amiga Pass Force. 
<laughs> and um, yeah, it's it's well good, mate. Everyone what's, gets what's, real what's, cool. Uh, look, look, in English, uh, vomit, blow chunks, puke, throw, puke, wretch, purge, <laughs> vomit, <laughs> barf, jerk, jerk, huh? Jack is Jack. Yes, I remember. Canadian guy. There's a schön Deutsch spricht. Fotze. Arschlocher. The largest country for hardcore in the world. Homeland to massive organizations such as Megarave and Thunderdome, with 30,000 person parties. Even a TV program, TMF, that features hardcore from time to time. Here DJ Bonehead and DJ Stinger discuss about the good side and bad side of hardcore in Holland. Safety precautions. You never know what you get in Holland. <laughs> it's kind of divided into uh, several steps now. So we've got uh, some industrial, diecore, speedcore. So uh, the mainstream is mostly the commercial scene, like mass hardcore, you know, like the tee 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 with the sound. No. Dutch cabal style. Yes, pizza, chicken style. I just like this kind of music. He knows about it. Uh, I do not prefer like the, that that style. Uh, I like the more underground style, like uh, like uh, industrial or speedcore. You know. <laughs> Kick your ass. It's getting bigger and bigger now. So you've you've got now a television show uh, on TMF. They started again. Bounce, yeah. Yes, called Bounce with. Uh, with uh, Charlie Low Noise, you know, uh, he used to be hard, but now he's uh, very soft. He's uh, talking about uh, happy hardcore is in that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. He released a CD called Bounce with all those uh, tracks like Scooter and those happy tracks from the <laughs> Charlie Low Noise. Yes, <laughs> yes <laughs> that stuff. So, uh, Did you uh, saw it last week with DJ, DJ Panic? I, I like didn't saw it. Like an interview with DJ Panic, and he was like, uh, yeah, yeah, the hardcore is getting bigger. And now we're going to watch a, a, a good clip. Uh, wonderful day, isn't it? <laughs> In the beginning, it was fun. They interviewed uh, Basfas uh, and uh, a lot of other guys, but now they, they're interviewing like uh, uh, Marshall Woods, uh, some uh, hardstyle guy, and they say, yeah, hardcore this and that, uh, but he's making hardstyle, so I, I don't know why they're interviewing him. Parties are getting bigger, but uh, it's not my style again. But the most parties are from Mega Rave and Mass Hardcore. So every party you come is the same. They they never they never mix terror or like that. Yeah, but, but what I think about those happy hardcore on the on the television is because TMF doesn't want to be hardcore. Yes. They just talk about hardcore and think they're all great and stuff like that. And then you see a clip and it's all uh, June or uh, Scooter. Uh, put your hands up and like like in the early days everyone says yeah I like hardcore but they only like the commercial stuff so they want to do it again with all the guys like like uh, most guys one two years ago they say uh, hardcore no no that's uh, that's ugly and they listen to trends yeah. like the candy ravers in uh, yeah. Canada yeah, yeah. Yeah. and now they listen to hardstyle and oh yes it's hard and yeah, yeah, yeah. step by step they go further and they listen to hardcore again, they, yeah. they buy uh, the CDs, they say yeah I'm hardcore this, but two years ago they were they were talking about negative things about uh, hardcore, so... Yeah. Yeah, it was the same moment out here, yeah? the guy doesn't give a damn about the hardcore scene, you know? he just uh, hears the bling bling and then, then it's cool, you know? yes. it's, it's, it's all about making money, yeah. it will never go away, there will, some, there will always be someone who tries to uh, make money out of it and, uh, Especially TMF and that uh, Eric just what uh, wanna be fucker. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So yeah. Like like look look mass hardcore. Uh, in the early days it was perfect. Uh, not too big, not too too small. The parties were not expensive. You paid uh, 25 guldens for entrance and you have a good lineup, uh, good people. Now you pay about. 35, 45 euros for one ticket. That's yeah, but in Switzerland as well, I think. In Germany is it too. Ian, 
Is it the same in Switzerland? Like the, the entrance? The from price the is, is 43, 43 Swiss francs to get into the party I was at. It's like 25 euros. That's like... 12, 12 and a half euros. That's about 30 euro. 30? Yeah. It's the same as here, man. Yeah. It's the same, but you have a different lineup there. You, you yeah. got Plague yeah, and Akira. Yeah. But if you go to Mars Hardcore, we're always the same names are Cat Scan, yeah. Outblast, Promo. Yeah. All from Holland. Maybe yeah. maybe us, uh, some guy from Italian uh, D Boy, but that's it. No yeah. no, uh, no other guys. Uh, no. Lenny D, Lenny D wants it well, but never Rob G like uh, those guys. Yeah. It's the same as Homer Santana. Yeah. Yeah. It used to be very hard, but. Now it's all cheese. Yes, yeah. all cheesy stuff. Smelly cheese. <laughs> you know, uh, a couple of months ago I thought uh, it's all going downhill involving all the skinheads and the wannabe skinheads. And it's not working out, man. You go to a party to have a good, good atmosphere and have a good time and not beating someone up. Or yeah. Just because you think he is different or more ugly than you, then you don't have to punch him in the head. Man. It's not working out. Well, it's, it's even better now these days. More industrial, more speed more. Less pizza, shit new stuff. Uh, yeah man, the thing is doing well. I'm really happy. New shit's coming up, so... Prepare motherfuckers! I have to play the fucking... Game Boy. <laughs> I'm right. Well, that was real terror. <laughs> This is not the end. This is only the beginning. Hardcore Worldwide Volume 2. Coming soon. To SteveCorp.ca. What you doing, baby? Just think about you. and have sex with her and screw the nuns with the crosses.